Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are preparing to take the Praxis Early Childhood Education Test 5025, then let's review some of the types of algebra questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's jump right in. Which of the following equations demonstrates the associative property of addition? What is the associative property of addition? This is when the grouping of the numbers does not change the sum. So let's look at the possible answers. 3 plus 4, which is 7, plus 5 is 12. And 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. These are not equal. Next one. 5 plus 4 equals 9, plus 3 is 12. 3 plus 5 is 8, minus 4 is 4. So these are not equal. The following one is 3 minus 5, which is negative 2, plus 4 is 2. And 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Again, these are not equal. Now, the last one, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12. This is equivalent, the sums are the same, and so this is our answer. Malachi is on a quest to read a series of books. He reads 30 pages every day, and has already read 100 pages. If Malachi reads for five more days, given the equation P equals 30 times 5 plus 100, with P equal to the number of pages read altogether, how many pages would he have read in total? Let's begin. The equation we've been given is P is equal to 30 times 5 plus 100. We do the multiplications first. P is equal to 150 plus 100. P is equal to 250. So the number of pages that Malachi would have read in total at the end of the five days is 250. A third grade teacher is beginning a math unit on the properties of multiplication. She gives her students the following examples. 8 times 1 equals 8. 30 times 1 equals 30. Which of the following properties of multiplication is she demonstrating? Our first option is the commutative property of multiplication. This is when changing the order of the factors does not change the product. So let's look at the examples. 8 times 1 equals 8, 30 times 1 equals 30. If we change these factors around, the product still remains the same. So this is a possible answer. Next, identity property of multiplication. When we multiply any number by 1, the product is the number itself. So again, we look 8 times 1 is 8, and 30 times 1 is 30. So this one fits even better than the first with our example. So I think we can cross that one out. And let's go on just to make sure. Distributive property of multiplication. When multiplying the sum of two or more numbers, it is the same as multiplying the add ends separately. The add-ins are the number added to another number. This is not an example of that. Associative property of multiplication. When multiplying a problem with more than two numbers, it doesn't matter which numbers are multiplied first. There are not more than two numbers here, so this is not the case either. The best answer here is identity property of multiplication. Emily is three times as old as her younger sister, Sarah. 
the sum of their ages increased by seven is 22. How old is Emily? Which of the following is the correct equation to solve this problem? So let's look again. Emily is three times as old as her younger sister, Sarah. So that means that Emily is equal to 3s. The sum of their ages plus 7 is 22. So 3s plus s plus 7 is equal to 22. Now let's look at the answers for the question. 7s plus s times 3 equals 22. No. 3s plus s plus 7 equals 22. That is what we have, and that is the correct answer. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you can get a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.